Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie. This is Luke. And I'd like to welcome you to another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. Now, I have some exciting news to share. Um, I've actually moved into a new space, and so I have my own little corner here that I will be recording videos in, and I'm very excited about it. And yeah, Luke, Luke knows what's gonna happen. Okay, yep, that's a butt. That's a cat butt. Okay, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna lay down? Or are you gonna just show your butt? He's gonna go lay down. That's fine. We can we can just hang out here and have coffee without him. Anyway, so I have some exciting news. I have moved into a new space and this is the Cali corner here for clarinets and cats and coffee. And I'm I'm really excited because um, that means I have a little more space to work with to do a few more creative projects. And um, yeah, so keep your eyes out for, for some new things coming up. In the meantime, um, I'm just gonna keep doing my regular Saturday morning series, um, giving you guys clarinet tips and an exercise or some solo rep or whatever. And before I go into that, I also wanna thank my patrons for supporting me over the past year. Can't believe I've been doing this on a regular basis for a whole year. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has been supporting my channel there. And if you want to become a patron, if you love my channel, um, be sure to go check it out and, and consider supporting me. So because of this move, I have been like not really practicing the past couple of weeks. Um, I recorded um, a couple of videos all at once a few weeks ago, and those are the videos that I had put in queue to post over the past couple of weeks while this huge transition kind of happened in my life. And so now I am here, and now I must record, and now I am still um, out of shape. So that's okay. You guys are just gonna have to bear with me as I um, get back into shape over the next couple of weeks. So um, today's video actually I thought would be a good opportunity to practice some crutch exercises. And the main thing that I had in mind is to practice doing some reading of music in uncomfortable key signatures. And one of my students this week actually put it very, very simply. The most uncomfortable key signatures to read music in happen to be the ones like in the middle, at least in her opinion and mine as well. So what do I mean? Like the key signatures that have like three, four and five sharps or flats, right? So, uh, you know, if you have six or seven sharps or flats in the key signature, it's really easy to remember the key signature because almost everything is sharp or almost everything is flat. So it's just a matter of remembering which ones are natural, right? Um, likewise, if you only have a couple of sharps or flats, it's a lot easier to just remember which ones are sharp or flat and, and then know that everything else is natural. So I thought it would be a good idea to do some reading through E major. Um, I don't really like the key of E major. I don't really know why. I kind of hate the note F sharp and um, that's kind of a problem because F sharp is in every single sharp key signature, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to do some crutch exercises in E major and I'm going to include the PDF below of book two of the crutch exercises. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a really good book to start with if you want to read through music in uncomfortable key signatures because book two is where you read through music that is, you know, three or more sharps and flats, right? So uh, I highly recommend it if you want to give yourself a little bit of a challenge. Now, before I get into it, I just have a few tips that I try to keep in mind when I am reading through music in, in this manner. So uh, the first thing is, um, you know, to choose a key signature with between three and five sharps and flats with the intention of making myself slightly uncomfortable while reading. And the, the point is to try to train myself to be relaxed in these uncomfortable key signatures. And I also like to practice these very slowly. And 
I do this because I am trying to train myself to associate these uncomfortable keys with feeling relaxed and I can really only coordinate good breathing, proper embouchure, and a very relaxed, effortless sound at, at the slower tempos, okay? So you can challenge yourself and try to speed it up, and there are all sorts of different ways to practice these, um, but today I'm going to practice very slowly. So I choose a tempo that flows um, somewhat comfortably, but also is a tempo that I know I can play beautifully and feel very relaxed at. Now, in terms of uh, read readability, I recommend trying to look ahead in the music, maybe by two or three notes. And I actually combine that skill with moving my fingers in slow motion. It really helps to imprint that intentional manner of playing, uh, doing slow practice with slow motion fingers. Um, again, I try to make sure everything flows very comfortably and beautifully, but also trying to implement some tips from various, um, you know, previous videos where I'm talking about legato. The other thing I try to do is make note of any tension in my playing. And so I mentioned earlier, I don't really like F sharp. It's not all of the F sharps. It's the top line F sharp, that middle finger F sharp. I tend to tense up. It's just the sound of that note bothers me. I don't, I don't like it. And it typically doesn't sound good on the clarinet. So um, I try to be aware of the fact that I just naturally kind of tense up when I hear it and I try to just play through it and I try to be, be very relaxed. Um, side key G sharp is another one of those notes for me that just doesn't really feel comfortable to play. And so again, I try to just blow through it and play as relaxed as possible. And I give those notes a little bit extra care and attention um, in the back of my head while I'm playing. Now, crutch is one of my favorite ways to practice different patterns in all different key signatures. Um, the unpredictability of every key signature and the, uh, you know, the, the variety of patterns that um, are, are used in, throughout the crutch exercises, I think makes it very engaging and interesting, fun to play. And, and the most important thing out of, out of all of this is to train ourselves to play musically and expressively in all kinds of different keys and all kinds of different patterns. And the crutch exercises, I think, do just that. So I'm going to go ahead and play through these exercises for you. Um, and you are welcome to Try to play along with me if you would like um, or you can just listen they're very beautiful and I just I just love them so be sure to download the PDF below and check them out for yourself enjoy <laughs>
you all so much for watching. I really enjoyed playing this and thank you all for being part of my journey uh, to getting back into shape after a couple of weeks of very spotty practicing. So let me know um, what you guys think and if you have any tips of your own for getting comfortable in uncomfortable key signatures. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, a good rest of your week, and as always, happy practicing.